Hi, Art Hertz here for Easy Access Math, and I'm standing here with the perfect squares. These are very important numbers for you to remember, and the reason is they are very important for factoring. If you're going to do the difference of two squares, you want these numbers to jump out. You want to remember them. For simplifying radicals, you need to remember these numbers. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, 144, 169, 196, 225, and it keeps going. Now, after practice, these numbers will mean something. They'll stand out. But if you're not sure, it's a good idea once the test starts to write a perfect square list for yourself on your scrap paper. And you can do that by calculating, or if you're allowed a calculator, by doing 1 times 1. That gives you 1. The next is 2 times 2. You multiply every number by itself to get the square number, the next square number in the sequence. And that's how you can make your list of perfect squares and continue it to see if a number is a perfect square can be very helpful. You also might want to be familiar with your multiples of perfect squares for simplification of radicals if you see a 50 or for a factoring problem which has two steps. Uh, 50 uh, divided by 2 is 25 and 25 is on your list. So 50 contains a perfect square. So you want to remember the list of perfect square numbers and until you do be aware of how you get the perfect square numbers. You multiply each number by itself, and that gives you its square, and you can make your list on your scrap paper. Perfect squares, really important.